You start this hour with leaders laying the blame over the botched Afghanistan withdrawal. The Biden administration is blaming former President Trump for the chaos during the U.S. evacuation from Afghanistan. This in a new report. American forces left the country in August of 2021, ending the longest war in U.S. history. Republican Michael McCall, the chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, calling Kirby's remarks in the new report disgraceful and insulting. News Nation's Joe Khalil live for us on Capitol Hill with more reaction today. Joe. Hey, good morning, Natasha. So we're going to break this down here. This report isn't exactly the report. It's a 12-page summary of it that the White House put out. But they lay out all of the good, all of the bad, what went wrong, and what went right with this Afghan pullout. And they basically have two really important takeaways that if you read through it. One is that American troops and our Afghan allies should have been evacuated much sooner than they were. And the second big takeaway is that on a number of different levels, there were failures of intelligence, which always leads to uninformed decisions, if not bad decisions, being made when you don't have the right intel. But remember, this is a Biden administration document, not entirely uh, apolitical here. So they do blame the Trump administration quite a bit. In fact, at these 12 pages, the first four talk about how the Trump administration created the conditions that ultimately led to a chaotic pullout, as they describe it. Now, look, the Trump administration officials now are responding to that. They take issue with that. A lot of Republicans, as you just heard, take issue with that. But here's what's actually in here. They say that uh, it was the Trump administration that drew down troop levels from 10,000 to under 3,000, and that the Trump administration signed an agreement with the Taliban, which, by the way, left out the legitimate Afghan government from those discussions. Uh, and they came to a deal that by May of 2021, all American troops were going to be pulled out of Afghanistan. They also mentioned that during the presidential transition from Trump to Biden, there was not a whole lot of communication, uh, almost no detailed plans from the Trump team about how they were going to do this evacuation. And so Biden says they came in with almost no background information that they needed uh, at all. Now, here's where the Biden administration does take some accountability. They talk about those intelligence failures on the ground. The president and military officials concluded that uh, the Afghans, whom the U.S. trained for 20 years, would have been able to better defend their country from the Taliban. Clearly, though, that did not happen. In a couple of days, the Taliban was able to come in and take Kabul. But uh, Admiral Kirby described the general mission as more of a success. He did say, though, that the intelligence failures really cost them. And here's how he described it. They get paid to do the best they can, weaving in multiple sources of information, sometimes in real time, without even a lot of time to process. Uh, and, do, and they do the best they can. Do they always get it right? They'll be the first ones if they were up here to tell you they don't always get it right. And clearly we didn't get things right here with Afghanistan about how fast the Taliban were moving across the country. So pretty open there. But Kirby, I do want to stress, did say that the president still believes the right decision ultimately was to bring this war to an end and to pull our troops out when they did. The report also acknowledged the 13 American service members who were killed by that suicide bomb that was put together by one of the ISIS-K members. And they also end this report by saying that there are important lessons that the U.S. has learned from Afghanistan that the U.S. is now applying to Ukraine and will apply to other conflicts in the future. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.